Welcome back to Firestorm Games and another episode of The Hobby Table. In this video, we're taking a look at the new Namati Reavers for the Ideneth Deepkin. And, as always, whilst we're building these up, we'll be talking about the kit themselves, some of the options, and also the sculpts as well. So let's get started by taking a look inside the box. So first things first, we get the instruction booklet. Now this is pretty much standard fare for these kind of kits. All of the components are numbered on the sprue and also in the instruction booklet as well, so you know exactly which components goes where. Everything's color coded as well, so you know where to apply glue and which parts are optional or not. At the back, we also have the rules for using these in Age of Sigmar, as well as a brief painting guide on the back of the booklet as well. In terms of the miniatures themselves, we get 10 30mm bases, as well as two sprues which we are going to be using to build up our reavers. So let's get started and get some of these miniatures assembled. Inside the box we get enough components to assemble 10 Namati Reavers. Now these are all equipped in the same way, they're all equipped with bows, and this isn't a multi-use kit like we've seen in other kits. You are, can only actually assemble the Reavers from this set, you don't get any additional items for additional weapons, for assembling Thralls for example, which seems strange because I would have expected the Thralls and also these Reavers to be a single kit with different weapon options. However, one thing about this kit which is great is the fact that you actually get 10 individual sculpts in this set, not just 5 and then you're made to double up, which some other kits do. This means that if you have a full squad, they're all going to be posed differently. This is further enhanced by the fact that each of these Reavers comes with two different arm poses, which means you could run two individual units of 10 of these Reavers and have them all looking different. One thing that is unusual about this set, however, is the fact that we only get 10 head options. Normally with a kit of this size you would expect to see around a 15 or even 20 head options. However, this is probably because of the rather expressionless looking faces. The fact that these miniatures have no eyes does probably limit the amount of poses that these miniatures can take in their facial expressions. However, you do get a mixture of both male and female reaver heads in this set. So, with the components talked about, let's talk about aesthetics. Now, I did mention the Marty Thralls earlier on, and these miniatures do bear some resemblance to them. They both have the bare arms, and in some cases the bare chest. They have similar looking faces, and also fairly similar looking clothes as well. However, these Reavers are much more lightly armoured than their Thrall brethren. They have a little armour on the legs, the cloth that they're wearing around the waist is also a lot lighter as well, which makes sense considering the lithe movements that these miniatures also express. Very few of these miniatures are in fact in static poses, they're all moving forward or have some sort of movement associated with their pose, which is quite a difference from the Thralls, which are all pretty much two feet firmly planted on the ground, swinging those giant axes or blades. Which I guess is an upside of keeping these miniatures as a separate kit, as it does mean we can have some difference in the pose ability. The detailing on these miniatures is very good. It's also very fitting with the Ideneth Deepkin theme. Everything is very sweeping, the harder edges around weapons kind of look like coral growth as opposed to being tempered from metal. So it really does have that ocean fairing appearance to it. This oceanic theme is further enhanced by the small companion eel that we get for the icon bearer of the unit. So let's finish things off by getting an overall summary for this kit. And here we have two of the assembled Namati Reavers. One is one of the regular Reavers, and the other is the Icon Bearer, which acts as the unit leader. Now overall, this is a very interesting looking kit. The Ideneth Deepkin in general have a very interesting aesthetics, and this kit is no exception. The nautical theming is very strong, and the miniatures themselves are also very well detailed as well. It's also nice to see a good variant of poses, even though we don't get much in the way of posability afforded by ball and socket joints, which we have seen in past kits. But this seems to be the way that most Games Workshop kits are going these days. Now if you wanted to pick up a set of these miniatures for yourselves, the ROP is £30. However, they are available currently on the Firestorm Games web store for £27. That's 10% off the ROP and I'll include a link to them in the description below. Now if you enjoyed this video, please do let us know in the comments below and also make sure you subscribe to be kept up to date with all of Firestorm Games' latest videos. And so we just want to finish off by saying a big thank you for tuning in and watching this video, and we hope to see you again on Firestorm Games.